Ladies and gentlemen, Michael Pomazano here. Robert Driscoll on the Discord says, Hey, 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 hi, hi. New here. Wondering where my Emma Ruth Rundle fans are at. No idea who Emma Ruth Rundle is, but I do know who Robert Driscoll is. He and I are actually working on a secret project. And so, Robert, it's good to, that I see you in the Discord. Now, for all you wondering, how do you get access to this Discord? Well, if you play guitar, join Guitargate. If you don't play guitar, hit the little join button next to YouTube, and the Discord community is one of our little thank yous for supporting the channel. On that note, real quick, we're giving this thing away on Sunday, okay? On Sunday for a 500,000 subscriber live stream. But, you know, it's hard to schedule bands and studios, so we're a little shy of 500. So, would you mind just checking and seeing if you're subscribed? You're probably not. Again, it doesn't cost you anything, it's just a little button there. Here we go. Emma Ruth Rundle, full session. No timestamp, Robert. 1225, looks like there's two songs, Dark Horse and Control. Okay, well, we'll see what the first one is. Friends, timestamp me. Ice cold, no idea what this is. Good evening, everybody. Very happy to have Emma Ruth Rundle with us tonight. Thanks for doing this. I have a good feeling about it. See you this. later. Thanks for having us, Loic. I dig the vibe. Um, there's a lot of textural things that I don't really know how to explain, but I hear them. I hear the little, and I like it. There's like there's like an evil comedy that's happening in here right now. I can't put my finger on it, but it's it's dirty and it's nasty. But inside they're laughing, and I love that. Your basic harmonic structure, if you will. G minor is the name of the game, the neighborhood. Going up to its relative major, B flat major, down to its flat seven, which is F, and then back to G. Your melody is based on the fifth of, um, of G minor, which of course is D. So fifth based melody, let's keep it going. That little drift off that, that, that had my attention. Yeah, that was killer. There. 
so many cool grabs in there that biddle if you heard it um biddle. um i'm gonna try to keep it moving what's cool is uh again harmonically i'm not really talking about the textures too much um but harmonically we're we're leaning heavily on that relative major if you will got you a b flat Got you an E flat, right? You got a C in there. I mean, so we're 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 kind of staying in key, if you will. Um, but but all of the like the outside, it's all the filth, all the dirt, um, if you will, is coming from these all these all these like you know like you know. Like all these little chromatic, like you're bleeding two notes really close to each other, leaning into the amplifier, like letting it, letting it shake, you know, letting the, letting the, the air that the amp's moving sh re reverberate and shake the strings. Um, so many cool sounds I'm hearing that I, I I'm not going to do a good job describing. But the point is, is that um, we're basically staying in key, and all the nastiness is coming from these. If, uh, from these, uh, you know, man-made kind of effects, play, playing with two or three notes that are really close together and just shake. Reaper. Reaper. the sound i don't want to say clearly because you know what if you're in the comments let me know but there's a couple things in this video where it seems clear that the sound and the video don't completely match up uh, it could be a couple things it could be one they did this in the studio and then they're playing over it um like over the recording like for this thing or the opposite is true they they recorded it live in the studio and then they went back and edited it because like there's these little there's these little like I'm I'm hearing flames where I'm not seeing them um, and this little drop here like you can clearly see it's not lined up no points deducted Love that foot. Okay, 
If you watch a lot of my videos, you know what I'm about to say. When you hear something that stands out and you're like, ooh, something happened there. Something changed. I really liked it. I don't know what it is. Go back, figure it out, and put, put a word to it. Put a name to it. Something so that you can use it again somewhere else. This little push. Yeah. That stand out to anybody else? Check it. Now again, we haven't we haven't left key, but coming in on that E flat right there step movement down to D it's just it this little movement firmly establishes that we're going back to this minor tonality right if you're in here you know we came from a B flat it's still bright right it's a it's a it's a one to a four cadence if you will but this right but It's just these little, little tiny bass movements, right? To just pull you back in. Same thing's happening here. You got this, right? Now, what this is, is this is actually like a power chord. It's like a root and a fifth here, right? Stacked. So you got E flat and B flat. And then the bass down to D, and then a B flat down to A. So same, same push, but the bass goes first, and then the guitar kind of follows it in that reverb swamp, right? And it's just this. It just carries the listener down, right? I love it. It's so simple and so cool. Keeping that left foot going. Love that bill. I'm imagining that we're going into the next song. Uh, Emma Ruth Rundle. Key takeaways here. And by the way, uh, Robert Driscoll from the Discord from our secret project. Thank you, sir. All right, key takeaways. Um, heavy with a sense of humor. 
I, I don't know why I keep saying that, but like, I just feel that way. I don't normally get into the um, reverb pit dreamscape uh, vibe, you know. Um, it, it it's it's not something that I that I don't like. It's just I just never find myself in that zone. You know what I mean? I find myself, you know, and um, but I love I love how. The overall harmonic and melodic movement is simple. It's it's accessible, but it's not clean. It's filthy. All the all the textures that are laid over top of it. Again, just the reverb swamp dreamscape and all of the the little note bleed in between here and there and and uh, you know notes really close together, not really landing on the one and pushing over the bar. And even when they do those quick little grabs, that ba ba, where you're like, wait a minute, are we in four? But yeah, of course we're in four. Like the hi hat keeps moving, but like there's those little grabs, those little jumps. That they're not like a sledgehammer hitting you because again, you're in the reverb swamp, and it um, it, it 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 just it creates this pulse and this flow that you just kind of are swimming in the whole time, and it's cool as shit. Um, as far as as far as Emma's sound uh, I, I cannot I cannot I can't I, I can't pinpoint what this reminds me of um, someone in the comments is going to say no you're thinking this you know you just you just can't think right now um, I don't know I, I, I don't know what it is but she's got this mix of of something that I've never heard before before and something really familiar if that makes sense um again coming from someone with a really heavy like metal-ish background um i dig the dark stuff right like i again i never really got into the whole reverb swamp part of it um and i don't mean that in a negative way i just mean that like i just i i I play guitar like a drummer. Like I want percussion. I want sledgehammers and razor blades. That's where I live. Um, uh, but but there's there's something familiar about her voice too that I just can't put my finger on. Anyway, I'm rambling. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. If you dug this, let me know in the comments. If this reminds you of something, let me know in the comments. If you think I should go somewhere else, let me know in the comments. And for those of you that support. Uh, the channel, either on, on YouTube or on as a member at GuitarGate, thank you. And I will keep an eye out for your requests on Discord and the GuitarGate Reacts page, which, of course, get priority because you guys make the world go round. That's it, my friends. Have a great day. I'll see you soon. And again, this and a whole PRS Sanzera rig and gig bag and strings and, and everything are going to be given away to one GuitarGate member this Sunday. Running a huge sale right now. Use the code 500K if you're interested. That's it. Enough pitching. Back to playing. See ya.